Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm currently sitting in my bedroom and there are two suitcases on the ground, mostly packed. I started packing over a week in advance, so I'm really proud of myself. As you guys can see from the title, I will be leaving tomorrow for Greece slash Europe for about three months. I will be mostly going to Greece to visit Christian, but before that we're gonna be staying a couple days in Germany to visit his family, which I'm really excited about. And then we're gonna go spend a couple of days in Austria with some of his friends. I've never been to Austria, so I'm really excited about that. As someone who likes fashion and clothes and has a bunch of camera gear, it can be very overwhelming to know what to bring. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing and hopefully help some of you guys out who are planning on going on a trip for a longer period of time, specifically in like warmer climates because I mostly have just like warm weather clothes. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first up, I'm going to pack the easiest items first, which are tank tops. Greece is obviously really hot in the summer, so I made sure to bring a lot of neutral ones, some colorful ones, some basic tees to layer, some more casual cotton tees to lounge and sleep in, and a couple of nicer tops for when I want to look a little more put together. After that, I compiled the thinnest tops to put in my first packing cube. If you've never used packing cubes before, what are you doing? I got these ones from a brand called Eagle Creek at REI, and these just make it super easy to organize and take out what I need without having to rummage through my whole suitcase. As you can see, I like to roll my tank tops, and this just helps to optimize the space in the cube. You'd be surprised by how much stuff you can fit in there and I stuffed quite a lot. Next up we have dresses! I think two basic versatile maxi dresses like these ones I got from Vitamin A are so great for warmer weather. I'll also be bringing some dressier options for fancier occasions. Here we got some light and breezy pajama options that I like to rewear, bralettes, spandex, more undergarments. I then stole this bra case from my mother's closet and stuffed my bras in there so that they don't get squished in my luggage. What a concept. I then compiled all of those items and started rolling them into my bigger packing cube. For underwear, I will be stuffing them all into my smallest Eagle Creek packing cube. I live in button-ups in the summer, specifically linen shorts since they're super breathable and help keep me protected from the sun. Here I have some shorts that I have organized in a packing folder from Eagle Creek. I love this thing because I never iron and this keeps my shorts from getting super wrinkled. I'll also be packing two light sweaters and two sweatshirts for those windier summer days. For pants, I will be bringing three pairs of long jeans, these linen pants that I live in in the summer, and a pair of fun airy red trousers that I thrifted. I'm bringing two pairs of denim shorts, but I have a feeling like my new black and white linen shorts will be getting more wear this year. For sleeping, I'll be bringing some light packable cotton shorts to pair with my tank tops. And last but not least for my bottoms, I'll be packing two short skirts and a knit maxi skirt. I like to roll my thicker items like my bottoms and sweaters on one side of the suitcase since they're too big to fit into my packing cubes. While being away from Seattle, I still hope to find somewhat of a regular workout routine, so I'll be bringing three pairs of leggings, two workout shorts, a tank, three bras, and roll them all up into these Girlfriend Collective reusable bags. And now, for the fun part, of course I will be bringing my snorkel gear, some socks, including a pair of compressions for the plane, two one pieces for lap swimming, goggles, a swim cap, and I will then roll them all up into another Girlfriend Collective reusable bag. 
I plan to do a lot of swimming, so I brought all of my bikinis, some surf suits from the Aaron Krause times Jolin that I love, sarong, and again, I will be rolling these up into two separate girlfriend collective bags. Greece is really warm from spring up until the end of October, so I'll only be bringing a black blazer and this cute crop denim jacket that I got on Poshmark. I'm still searching for the perfect travel purse, but in the meantime, I'll be bringing these three that I found in the house, this amazing beach bag from Aloha's, and a laundry bag, which is so, so, so important. For shoes, I'll be bringing my A6. I ended up leaving my fans at home a pair of Havaiana flip-flop heels from Aloha's and my Birkenstocks that I will put into these shoe cubes that I got from Daiso. Keeping the sun out of your face and the heat is really important. So here I have my favorite bucket hat and my go-to visor that I got on Etsy from a brand called Chasing Rainbows. This one rolls up, which makes it super easy and convenient for travel. For hair accessories, I'll be bringing a claw clip, all of my scrunchies, my childhood bandana that I recently found. I'll also be packing some jewelry to spice up some basic outfits and throw them all into this majority pouch. I'll be bringing two belts for my loser fitting pants, some face masks of course, two pairs of sunglasses, and some of my reading books and journals. I ended up leaving two of these at home because my luggage was too heavy, so good thing I have a Kindle. Here I have some carry-on essentials like my wallet, passport, phone charger, and wet wipes. I have my hydro flask and my packable stojos to reduce my plastic usage on the road. And because I'm addicted to matcha, I'll also be bringing my matcha powder and a hand whisk that I just got and fell in love with. Here I have my non-essential cosmetics bag filled with makeup that I don't use every day, my handy dandy toiletries bag with everything that I need from a cleanser, contact solution, dry shampoo, Olaplex, and all of the skincare items that I need. I love my Bayes Travel Cosmetics case. This is my go-to makeup bag which features two clear compartments as well as a travel mirror. I'll be storing my everyday makeup on one side and for the other side, I'll be bringing all the skincare and eye care that I will need on my travel day such as a mini face cleanser, sunscreen, lip balm, my contacts, some toothpaste, and a toothbrush. For my technology, I will be bringing my MacBook, charger, a portable keyboard and mouse, two hard drives, my Canon EOS R, a lens, my uncle's old camcorder, vlog camera, film camera, some film rolls, a flash, a gorilla pod, and a clear prism, which in hindsight is pretty excessive and I have not used the camcorder or the prism. I'll be bringing my pro case to organize my cables and batteries. I also brought some earbuds, an SD card holder. Here are all of my battery chargers and batteries, an outlet converter, and almost all of these items will be stored and rolled up into my organizer. I'm not done with my tech just yet. I'll be bringing my Rode microphone, my drone, and a GoPro case since I broke my GoPro and will be borrowing Christians while I'm over there. Finally, I will be storing the rest of my camera equipment in this wandered camera cube. I just got this amazing Wander Provoke backpack in which I will be storing all of my tech gear in. So I put in the cube, my laptop, and threw in the rest of the stuff in this top compartment, which acts somewhat like a Mary Poppins bag, since there doesn't seem to be a limit on how much crap I can fit in here. After that, I'll be throwing in my books and uh, plain essentials and the extra zipper compartments and we are good to go! Yeah. 
this is what my suitcase situation looked like at the end. Here you can see the chocolates that I brought for Christian's mom, as well as my packing cubes and my carry-on, and the disaster that is in my check-in luggage. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. I know that watching other people's packing routines have really helped me with mine. And honestly, it's taken me a long, long time to feel like I can be organized packing. It's definitely something that you just have to do a lot of trial and error for. Make sure to click the like and subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And I'm super excited to share some more travel content for you guys. I really don't know what the next couple months are gonna hold for me and I'm feeling really grateful and privileged that I get to have the opportunity to do this. So thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!